G'day, welcome to Market Sam After Work. Today I've got a mini scope review or mini, or more of an introduction. This scope here is from DT Optics. It's called The One. It's a 7 to 35 by 56 first focal plane tactical scope. Um, this company contacted me and said, Would you like to have a look at it? I went with, okay, let's have a little look and see what I can find out about it. Saw there are some scope reviewers talking about these scopes and using them. And they, can, they tell me they're very comparable to the, to the Arkin scope in the same sort of thing, the 7x35. Um, and we're a decent scope. Thought, okay, let's stop being a scope snob um, and go through and have a look at one. Um, it's something that if they are going to work at the sort of price point that they sit, it is going to be something that is relevant for the guy on a budget, the guy who's trying to put together another rig for the young fella to use or the, or the whatever it is, entry level, however you want to look at it. So I thought we'd get it across and have a look. So here it is. Um, basically the, 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 the look of it, the fit and finish, the size of the turrets, the, all the bits and pieces in a, in a physical look of the thing. I think it's a nice looking scope. It def definitely is it done, done a decent job on that sort of level. The um, the feel of it, you know, from the fast focus diopter down the back here, nice sort of fluid coupling proper sort of feel to it. So nice and firm, um, no no grinding or anything rough about it or looseness about it either. Nice and firm on that sort of level. The the power, the actually I needed to bolt on the throw lever because that's probably a little bit too firm unless you put the throw lever on but once again nice and feet nice and smooth about it got that sort of fluid sort of feeling uh, but really nice feel to it the turrets nice and big turrets on a tactical scope it's nice to have the big turrets you know they're not so much suited to hunting and seven by 35 you know it's not really about hunting it's more about the tactical the elr the the target shooting the prs that type of thing so the big turrets easy to use very positive, nice and positive, tactile as well, uh, very accurate sort of feeling about it, proper click, click, click. Zero stop on the zero stop, very easy to use, nicely marked with a little red grub screw they got in there. Um, very positive zero stop, very easy to use zero stop, and once again, very positive in the turrets. Um, 10 mil per rotation, it's first focal plane. I really still prefer my second focal plane, but first focal plane is certainly where your PRS, PRS stuff are and your military stuff is, so the, the first focal plane is where they go. Um, the 10 per rotation and 36 mil altogether, haven't tested that properly, but that's pro purported to have. Um, that's awesome. That's above sort of the benchmark at 120 MOA. It's moving into the 130 MOA and a, a little bit above. So that's really good. If I can get that, that 100, 125, 100, 130 MOA or the 36 mil of internal elevation, then that's going to do a decent job for the ELR side of things and the way of getting into that place. Um, on the other side, parallax, I think it's 25, millimeter, 25 meters to uh, infinity. Um, in looking at it, nice and easy to use. Once again, nice firm for the feel to it, but nice on that sort of level. And then it has a one, two, one, two, five, no, six, one to six. One to six settings in the way of the illuminated reticle. So it illuminates the whole reticle. Um, nice, I've got some images of that sort of stuff there. So in all those features, 34 mil tube, all those features, the finishes of it, the, 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 um, the anodized coating, uh, listen, it's really up there. It really is a nice scope on that sort of level. Glass quality, not going to tell you, it compares with your, you know, your, the uh, 3,000, 4,000, $5,000 scopes. It's not quite at that level, but still completely functional. Not scruffy, not not gruff, not not um not, not not fuzzy in any shape, form, fashion. Probably not quite the same clarity as your top level stuff. Not quite the brightness and colours, and not quite the crispness to the edge of the reticle or to the edge of the of the glass. When depending on what sort of power setting you're at on that type of thing, but pretty decent. Certainly going to be functional. So something that bang for its buck. They're right up there without any question. Um, 
the, the, the look on what it's going to sit on your rifle. Yeah, it's going to do that sort of job there. It still is a cheaper scope. It always will be that. So it doesn't quite have the, the presence in the, in, the, in the comparing scope sort of stuff, but in the way of functionality. And so, like I said, if it's entry level, you're starting that place. If it's, you just don't have those funds to spend on it and you want to set up another one on the scope, then listen, totally easy. You go and get three of these rather than one of those sort of stuff. It's totally in that sort of bracket. Um, and they set it up for the young fellow to go and do this sort of thing. As you get to that, you're figuring out how far you want to go with ELR, that sort of stuff. Certainly the day where I started, to get these features, I was buying a Night Force Attacker. So very good quality scope, spent a lot of money, and that's a lot of years ago now, but to be able to get the features to do this sort of thing. Now you can actually start in that same place and stick your toe in the water and get to where the, I've got the 120 minutes of elevation. So you're talking in your 2000 meters with most of that sort of stuff and a little beyond. That means you all of a sudden can start to play a pretty thorough game of doing the, um, the ELR side of things um, on not too much of a budget. So we'll see how it goes. I want to use it a couple of times this season, but done, definitely done a decent job of it. Um, that's about all I can tell you at this moment. I was certainly, um, I'm happy to look at it. I'm happy to, to share it. Um, let us know all your thoughts and comments and things below. And other than that, thank you very much for checking in. We'll catch you next time.